small intestine. Small intestine starts from the stomach. This is esophagus, this is stomach. Stomach ends at the pyloric sphincter, this is pyloric sphincter and then starts the small intestine. Small intestine has three parts. Duodenum, jejunum, and ileum. Small intestine has three parts: duodenum, jejunum, and ileum. Small intestine is seventeen feet. <coughs> the first part of the small intestine is duodenum. This is duodenum. This is a C shape. The next part is jejunum, and the third part is ileum. Ileum is the longest part, the small intestine. The food from the stomach enters. The duodenum. The food in the stomach is called chyme and it is acidic and it is in liquid form. When it enters the duodenum, this is duodenum, further digestion occurs in the duodenum. In the duodenum, there are enzymes which further break down the food into smaller particles. What are the enzymes in the duodenum? The duodenum has bile, pancreatic enzymes and also duodenal enzymes. Pancreas lies here. Here lies the liver. And here is the gallbladder. The liver In the gallbladder, they are attached with each other through a duct. A duct from the liver and the gallbladder meet each other. Both combine to form common bile duct. The common bile duct opens into the duodenum. While the pancreatic duct, this is pancreatic duct it also open into the duodenum. So the duodenum receives ducts from the pancreas as well as from the liver. This duct is pancreatic duct while this duct it comes from the liver. This duct is called this duct is called common bile duct. Common bile duct. Through this duct, through this common bile duct, bile comes into the duodenum. While through through the pancreatic duct, pancreatic enzymes come into the duodenum. The, the function of the bile is emulsification, emulsification of fats.
pancreatic enzymes pancreatic enzymes it consists of trypsinogen amylase and lipase pancreas the amylase the function of the amylase is to convert starch into simple glucose well the function of lipase is to break down fats break down fats the function of trypsinogen trypsinogen is converted into trypsin in the duodenum and trypsin break down proteins into simple amino acids amino acids the pancreas this is pancreas it has two functions exocrine and endocrine exocrine function is release of digestive enzymes digestive enzymes while the endocrine function is release of insulin glucagon somatostatin and also f enzymes so here in the digestive system the exocrine function or the digestive enzyme helps in the digestion of the food while the insulin and glucagon they they have a role in the endo, in the endocrine system the pancreas also release bicarbonate the function of bicarbonate is to neutralize the acid neutralize acid the acid which comes from the stomach is neutralized by bicarbonate the endocrine function of the pancreas is performed by cells called islets of langerhans islets of langerhans these are the cells which perform the endocrine function and they release insulin glucagon somatostatin and f enzymes glucagon is released by alpha cells while insulin is released by beta cells somatostatin is released by delta cells while the f f cells f cells release pancreatic polypeptide the bile so the function so we we are talking about the duodenum so the duodenum re receive bile and pancreatic enzymes the duodenum receive bile and pancreatic enzymes the duodenum also contain duodenal enzymes the bile also consist of water salts cholesterol bilirubin and other things first of all the bile is secreted by liver from the liver it comes to the gall bladder this is gall bladder in the gall bladder bile is stored bile is stored 
when food enters the duodenum the gall bladder release bile the bile also consist waste from the liver and also drugs which are to be excreted into the duodenum so from the duodenum this is duodenum the food enters into the jejunum further breakdown of food occurs in the jejunum the jejunum uh, also uh, receive enzymes pancreatic enzymes from the duodenum and uh, there are enzymes in the jejunum uh, like uh, maltase maltase lactase amylase they break down the food into still simple products from the jejunum uh, the food enters into the ileum and ileum the absorption occurs the food which is the food which is converted into smaller substances or nutrients is absorbed absorption of nutrients occur in the ileum in ileum the absorption of food occurs and the food is transferred transferred to blood transferred to blood the absorption in the ileum the ileum is not smooth in the ileum there are wrinkles these wrinkles are called ruga so the ileum is not simple the ileum is not simple it consists of wrinkles these wrinkles are called ruga and it also consists finger like projections called villi finger like projections called villi suppose this is finger like projection this finger like projection contains micro villi so the ileum is not smooth it consists of wrinkles called ruga in ruga there are villi and in villi there are millions of micro villi the absorption occurs in the microvilli in the microvilli there are two types of vessels two types of vessels one is these are two types of vessels one is lymphatic vessels lymphatic vessels and the second is blood vessels the lymphatic vessels absorb fats the fats are then transfer to the blood while the blood vessels absorb the remaining nutrients like glucose amino acids and transfer it to the liver for storage storage or use inside the liver the glucose is either converted to glycogen or is used for energy the ileum ends at ileocecal wall here is ileocecal wall the food the unabsorbed food which is waste it is transferred to the large intestine large intestine consist of cecum colon rectum anal canal the ileum opens into smaller part of large intestine called 
cecum. Attached to a cecum is a small structure called appendix. The cecum, from the cecum, the waste substances are transferred to the colon. The colon is a large structure. It is, it has three parts, ascending part, horizontal part or transverse part and descending part and sigmoid colon, sigmoid colon, ascending colon transverse colon, descending colon and sigmoid colon. Sigmoid colon opens into rectum, the rectum opens into anal canal. In the rectum there is two, there are two sphincters, one is here and one is here. The above is internal sphincter, internal sphincter while the lower is external sphincter. The food in the large intestine, the food from the ileum enters into the large intestine through a, a reflex called ileocecal reflex, ileocecal reflex, gastrocecal reflex, gastrocecal reflex. The large intestine, the function of large intestine is to absorb water, absorb water and minerals from the waste. When the water is absorbed and mineral is absorbed, the remaining waste materials are compressed so that it can easily be removed. Inside the large intestine, there are mucus and bacteria. They combine with the waste product and feces are pumped. The feces are re then removed from the body. The large intestine is 5 feet long, but its diameter is more than the small intestine. So, the large intestine has four parts, cecum, colon, rectum and anal canal. 